Well, we deeply thank to the TU Branchwise for the Institute for Bug Construction and the entire organization of constructive disobedience for the invitation. The other participants and the people present, it's a great joy for us to be here. MAPA is a creative studio whose field of action is architecture. We are a practice focused on creating new material, digital, natural, and cultural realities in a sensitive manner. We work on projects of diverse scale and complexities across several countries. We also have exposed, explored subjects linked with prefabrication and landscape through project constructions, prototypes, workshops, theoretical inquiries, and exhibitions. Uh, our starting point is bound to our offices in Montevideo and Porto Alegre, Southern Latin Americans. For some time now, we have been lucky enough to work worldwide in places as diverse as the North American desert, the rocky Mediterranean islands of Greece, or snowy land landscapes in Japan. The light latest of our challenges had led us to opening an office based very close here in Berlin. These are the landscapes in which we operate. We think and produce from Latin America, a huge continent in its dim dimensions, diverse, rich, and beautiful. An inspiration, but also a challenge. Our way of doing is a deliberate response to this context. Our cultural capital has been marked throughout history by economic and political ups and downs, which has prepared us for the unexpected. We could saf safely say that we are children of the crisis, which results in resilient and adaptable societies with uh, the creative capacity to solve problems with minimal resources. As architects, we face an immense continent, remote landscapes, and limitations of the construction industry itself. This is our game board. This has shaped and continues to do so on our way of approaching prefabrication. We do not look for a unique solution, but we are sensitive to the subtleties of each climate, geography, available industry, group, or person. So ways of prefabbing. A little bit of context here. With this in mind, we thought it necessary to develop an editorial project in which we revisit some of our prefab works through the concept, concept of prefabbing, which we called ways of prefabbing. Unlike the term prefabrication, this neologism expressed the continuity of an action over time. For us, it's a state of will to think and produce based on prefab systems, but without following the logic of repetition and the standardizations tacitly associated with them. Minimod adds case, case of study. Minimod is a family of prefabricated, modular, and customizable minimal shelters that we have been develop, developing for more than 12 years. The ways of prefabbing issue of Minimod presents the project as an ongoing constructive obsession with prefab systems associated with remote landscapes. Through more than 20,000 files produced in this period of time, it is possible to perceive permanences, evolutions, turning points, and the launching of new paths to explore for, for the studio. Therefore, we could say that Minimod becomes one of the MAPA's backbone through which to explore the main themes present in our production the relationship between nature and technology, designing within the limitations of the industry, assembly and module transport constraints, the tropical experience building with CLT wood, or the ramification of the systems into new products. So the first steps. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Maybe some mistake here. Minimal first steps are connected to a failure. Uh, 
A 50 square meter shelter in the city of Chukitiba near Sao Paulo, designed with a light steel frame for on-site assembly, could not be carried out. Market conditions, distances, and exper inexperienced labor with this type of structure, and especially on-site assembly, led to the failure of this project. The experience made us rethink the way we would build from this time on. We understood that it would no longer be assembled small components on site, but relying on the industry technology of cities such as machinery and warehouses. Having the opportunity of building without the displacement of labor, being sheltered from climatic conditions, and a better control of the process and execution of a project were the ideal conditions for a new experiment. However, new restrictions appeared. The maximum dimensions of transportation, the stress, the minimum dimensions of the area of comfort, and how do we create a device for living submerged within a landscape in a contemporary way? Following this, technological evolution made it possible for us to start thinking of assembling components in a warehouse. We imagined we could start out by transporting wall panels, avoiding loose parts, coats in some profiles. Later, the walls would become finished modules, an autonomous box, finished, placeable on any landscape, an initial response with minimal footprint, ready to go. First steps, learning from the factory. Through realizing the embryonic state of prefabrication in the market, we understood that we had to look for our own opportunities. We sought the support of an institution, in this case, the Lutheran University of Brazil, and some companies involved in selling new construction materials, such as light steel frames, in order to set up an operating laboratory, a dynamic workshop for students and professionals. For some weeks, constructing the prototype was the scene where we encountered many different obstacles which allowed us to learn about the particular construction processes and how to apply them into the project in real time. This prototype sought to experiment with constructive solutions that did not exist at the mark on the market at that time. Also experiment with radical layout solutions to generate an intense living experience. We also allowed ourselves to experiment artistically with some finishes for some, for example, the technical solution on the facade, where a CNC machine pierced a specific pattern on the panels. Transferring the prototype and replacing on the landscape confirmed our hypothesis. Everything from this module was performative. Its birth, transportation, facade that fold open, its openings all in similar size, its glass bathroom that forces nudity open to the landscape. These decisions were influential for the future. Explorations in terms of materials, system, and modulations were just beginning. 2014, mutations. After our first birth experience, we started experimenting with the modules and different possibilities, and new combinations began to emerge. The need to respond to different programmatic conditions, a variety of landscape with a diversity of views, approaches, along with variable economic scenarios, made the experiment prosper. Multiple evolutionary paths arose at this time, both in terms of form and construction. Some families of layout thrive, crosses, L's, lines. They assume a strong personality, being compact and with high performance. The concept became less involved into the microscale component and start focusing on the diagrammatic aspect of the project, as well as the constructive. It was clear we need to incorporate simple execution and clean handling. In Spanish, we say arrimar, which means to bring together, not to assemble or glue or weld. It comes from a primitive act. A new path was emerging at this time, where construction is not about the component and small dimensions, the little piece, but associated with the big panel, the wall. 2015, thinking about digital wood. In 2016, the long-awaited opportunity appeared. An old coffee plantation, now owned by a French entrepreneur, was the testing ground for this new concept. Incorporating CLT as the base material of the system is a fundamental milestone in Minimod's life with future repercussion in all aspects. 
One aspect is conceptual systematic. As I probably mentioned, construction was no longer about the component and small dimensions, but associated with the big panel, the wall. From here now, we could work with macro pieces, wielding schematic parts, part, simple actions, one floor, two walls, one roof. They are massive actions, as Andre Hadricourt mentions about the work of Western farmers, unlike the Eastern ones. According to him, it's technical in the sense of work gesture. A second aspect it is systematic dimensional. Each CLT panel, when produced, measures 12 by 3 meters. Unless in, in, in America, in uh, the factory we worked, 12 by 3 meters. Applying only three cuts, we obtain four identical panels, floor, wall, ceiling of three by three meters. These are the components of one Minimod module. In this way, one CLT panel, sorry, I come back, uh, equals to one Minimod base module, a happy outcome for us. The third aspect is the natural systematic level. The cross-laminated timber is a multi-layered planar wood. It arises from repeated processes and generates a new entity with dimensions outside of the tree catalog, which gives it the status of a new material, what we call digital wood. These thoughts led us to write an essay for the Faculty of Architecture of Montevideo on prefabrication and landscape. We try to uncover unexpected relationships between these two concepts, calling into question both one category and the other. How do we escape to nature today? What is the relationship like between the manufacturer in a workshop and the received landscape? Is a how that moves still a house? How is linked to our cultural tradition? This previous stage defined a material systematic conceptual corpus. From this moment on, Minimod was able to consolidate four evolutionary paths, which emerged from genetic variations by modifying its dimensional gene or modifying its systematic association gene or its material gene, it was able to adapt, for example, its insulation capacity to respond for different climates such as San Pablo Mountains, the New Zealand Plains, or the Cantabrian Coast. Each of these mutations occurred through the project experimentation, but also material. It is possible to build it. Does the construction system enable it? Does the material resist if it is used in a new way? In this way, alternative paths arises. For example, the extreme minimod spot that proposes a temporary inhabitation for the landscape, dividing the experience of being in two minimum spaces of four square meters. The main feature being its capacity to be transported as a completely finished piece in a commercial container, enabling remote landscape around the world. Larger proposals, such as the retreats, explore modular variations, creating elastic spaces with variable free spans between structural cores, resulting in the studying of the structural behavior of the CLT panels. There are also another proposal called Cabin, created from one minimum base module which attracts micro-modules of specialized activities, such as sleeping, cooking, bathing, therefore reshaping the base module with multiple results, plug-and-play playful cells. Survive, survivors. At this point, all the experience behind the evolution of minimal reached a point of maturity where some paths have clearly consolidated. Failed material experimentations remain by the wayside because they were complex or expensive. At the simplest and most powerful, subsists. In this way, a product of its own arises, capable of going out to the market and being built and executed. The condition of the wood industry, for us, that digital wood, allow us to think or of more or less standardized supplies throughout the world. Today's, today, CLT prices can be taken roughly as a known and even value worldwide. We believe Minimod is a global project with a local execution through strategic partners. Today, the future archaeologists. Reviewing this, the history of Minimod is, in a way, reviewing one of the studio's production engines. With a careful look, we can discover common features, 
the constant research and discoveries associated with Minimal are one of the most important sources of knowledge and reflection for the office. Today, MAPA creates projects in various scales related to the industry. We work in diverse landscape, both natural and urban, from our core Latin American landscape, expanding throughout the west coast of the United States, through Portugal, Greece, and Japan. These are the landscape in which we are projecting today. The experimental attitude towards materials, the concept of prefabbing that we talked about at the beginning, are two very important aspects for us, which also defines us. We believe that through understanding its conceptual richness, it is, its uniqueness and relevance in relation, in relation to each different project, it becomes creative power. This is a continuing quest we are involved in to this day. Thank you very much.